Flex is a fully flexible heat balance and engineering calculation program that allows you to model a wide variety of thermal systems. You build and analyze these models in four distinct stages, each separated by a transition. First comes the edit drawing stage. In this stage, you construct the model by choosing and connecting your desired icons. After having placed and connected all of your components, you trigger the check drawing transition in which Thermoflex checks to ensure that all component connections are sound. If any problems are found, you will be prompted to fix them before moving on to the Edit Input stage. The Edit Input stage allows you to specify the characteristics of your components as well as those of the plant in general. When you are done initializing your model, you then check inputs and compute. Thermoflex will perform some cursory checks to prevent inconsistent or unreasonable component inputs and then will automatically launch the computation if all checks pass. When computation is complete, the program notifies you of any warning or error messages and then you are able to view your model's outputs. To demonstrate this process, let's build a model of an open cycle peaking plant using a GE Frame 5 burning oil. The gas turbine component is located in the gas air menu of the icon selector. We'll connect its mandatory nodes to sources and sinks for this first simple model. After we have done so, we can trigger the check drawing transition by clicking on the green transition button next to edit drawing on the navigation bar at the top of the screen. Once our model has passed the check drawing process, the background of the screen will turn gray, providing us with a visual reminder that we are now in edit inputs mode. We can see that by default, the program has chosen a GE frame 6 rather than the GE frame 5 we wanted. We'll need to change this selection from the gas turbine's input menu. Double click the gas turbine to open its input menu and then click on Reselect GT to launch the gas turbine library. This library contains a list of the more than 400 built-in gas turbine models included with Thermoflex. We can sort and filter this list in several ways in order to find the gas turbine we're looking for. In our case, we're looking for the gas turbine with ID number 1, a GE5371PA. Click on this turbine to select it, and press OK to return to the input menu. Accept all other defaults and click OK again to return to the flow sheet. Now that we've chosen the gas turbine, we should choose its fuel. If we move our cursor over the fuel source, we'll see that Thermoflex has chosen methane as a default fuel. Since our gas turbine will be burning oil, let's open the source's input menu by double-clicking. Now let's select Define Fuel to open the ProFuel utility. ProFuel contains a list of all the built-in fuels included with Thermoflex, and it also allows you to define your own if you require a unique specification. In our case, we'll choose number 2 Distillate under the liquid category. Press OK to return to the input menu, and press OK again to accept all other defaults. Gas, air, sources, and sinks default to ambient conditions, which is satisfactory for our model. After reviewing their input menus, Click on the green transition button to check inputs and compute. Once computation has finished, the background color changes to yellow, reminding us that we are in view outputs mode. If we double click on a component in this mode, its outputs are displayed in a tab in the components view. Its available outputs are listed on the left hand side of the screen, where they can easily be summoned. Each component has its own unique set of outputs. They all include a component graphic, which displays a picture of the component, the properties of the streams entering and leaving the component, and a summary of important outputs. 
The gas turbine has output tables displaying performance and cycle data, and also has a graphical schematic that provides a graphical presentation of its cycle parameters. Detailed reports and tables are provided in the text view. These reports include an overview of major plant inputs and outputs in the system summary, the plant's heat and mass balance, and more detailed tables focusing on specific topics. The plant summary table, for example, displays a list of the important inputs and outputs pertaining to the plant as a whole. Given the number of outputs generated, it can be difficult to quickly find and compare specific inputs and outputs in these all-inclusive tables. If we have a list of variables we are especially interested in, we can display them in a variable table placed on the flowsheet itself. If we return to the flowsheet view, we can insert a variable table by clicking on the variable table button on the toolbar on the right side of the screen. We can then click the flowsheet. This launches the parameter selection window, where we can choose from many of our model's available inputs and outputs. For this model, we would like to compare the site's ambient temperature and relative humidity to the gross and net powers and efficiencies calculated by the program. When we click OK, we see our chosen variables appear in a table on the flowsheet. We can double-click on a variable name to enter our own description if we are not satisfied with the default text. Now that we have our variable table in place, let's use the mouse's scroll wheel to zoom in a bit to make it easier to read the text drawn on the screen. If we want to see the properties of our streams, we can right-click on the flowsheet and choose to unlock the icons. Once unlocked, we can separate the icons to display their stream's intrinsic stream displays. We can also drop free stream displays of our own to show these properties. When we drop a free stream display, it will automatically display the properties of the closest stream. We can always right-click and choose Reselect Stream if we want to associate a free stream display with a different stream. Now we would like to see how this plant would operate if methane, rather than fuel oil, were used as a fuel. Let's enter our current results into a text label on the flow sheet so we can refer back to them after computing with our new inputs. Now let's click on the full button to zoom and center the model on the screen. Now let's return to edit inputs mode by clicking on the edit inputs button. Double click on the fuel source to open its input menu. Then click on Define Fuel to open ProFuel. In ProFuel, open the Gas Fuel category and choose CH4. Click OK to accept this choice, then click OK again to return to the flow sheet. Now click on the Check Inputs and Compute button on the navigation bar. After a brief computation, we see that, due to the differing properties of the fuel, we've gained about four-tenths of a percentage point of efficiency, and that output has risen by a little more than 2.5%. As you can see, once the model is built, we can quickly and easily evaluate changes to any of the inputs for our plant or individual components. This ability is further enhanced by Thermoflow's macro program, as well as eLink, Thermoflow's add-in to Microsoft Excel that allows you to use all of Excel's advanced functionality to pass inputs to and display outputs from Thermoflow programs. More information on these programs is available in Volume 4 of the Thermoflow Manual and in video tutorials to come.